Hi, welcome to Scorp Mars video. In this video, we're going to look at logarithms, and we're going to look at logarithms in a bit more detail. So there's been two videos so far, an introduction to logarithms, where we've looked at if we've got something in an index form, such as a to the power of n is equal to x, where a is the base and n is the power of the exponent, the x would be the answer. Then we could write it in this form using logarithms, where we would have log to base a of x is equal to n. In other words, we're saying, what power do we raise the base by to get the answer? And then you work out the power. So we've looked at that in our first video, and we've also looked at how to use our calculator to type in logarithms. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the missing base or the missing value here for x. So let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. So we've looked previously, if we had something in index form, such as 10 squared is equal to 100, the 10 is the base and 2 is the power, and 100 is the answer. And that if we have log to base 10 of 100, our answer would be equal to 2, because we're saying what power do we raise 10 by to get to 100, the answer would be 2. So sometimes you might find that some values are missing. So for instance, if we had log to base 5 of 125, we know the answer is going to be 3 because 5 cubed is equal to 125, so the answer is equal to 3. But what if the base was missing and we had log to a certain value of 125 is equal to 3? We'd have to figure out what number do we cube to get 125. So what we would do is we would work out the cube root of 125. So we would do the cube root of 125 and that is equal to 5. So that means our base would have to be equal to 5. Or what if this value is missing? Well, because this is the base and this is the power, we could just do 5 cubed. And 5 cubed is equal to 125, so that's how we would work out that missing value. So sometimes, rather than having to work out the answer to the logarithm, we might need to work out missing bases or missing values here. And we would just use what we've learned so far to work that out. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. Okay, so our first question. Our first question says, work out the value of a. So we've got log to base a of 49 is equal to 2. So here we can see the power is 2, so this number squared is equal to 49. Now remember the value for a has to be bigger than 0. Remember whenever we have our logarithms, we've got the a is positive, it's bigger than 0, and it's also not going to be equal to 1, and the x is also positive. So here, if we go back to our question, we've got that this value squared is equal to 49. Well, if we just work out the square root of 49, the square root of 49, that's equal to 7. So that means that A, the base, would have to be 7. The log to be a 7 of 49 is equal to 2, because 7 squared is 49. So that's how we've worked out that missing base. We've just figured out what number do we square to get 49, and the answer would be 7. Also remember, as I've said, that because this value has to be positive, it can't be equal to negative 7. So you wouldn't have here a log to base negative 7, because here the base would have to be positive. OK, let's look at our next question. So our next question says, work out the value of A. And we've got log to base A of 64 is equal to 3. So in other words, if this is our base, A cubed will be equal to 64. So a cubed is equal to 64 because this is the base, this is the power, and this is the answer. So if I wanted to work out this missing base, I just need to solve this and figure out what a will be equal to. So if we do the cube root of 64, a will be equal to the cube root of 64. And the cube root of 64, a will be equal to, well, the cube root of 64 is 4 because 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. So this would have to be equal to 4. a is equal to 4. The log to base 4 of 64 is equal to 3. And let's just check that. 4 cubed is 64. So that's right, we'll find the value of a. It's 4. OK, let's look at our next question. OK, let's have a look at our next question. Our next question says, work out the value of x. So this time we've got log to base 2 of x is equal to 4. So this time we've not been asked to work out the base, and we've not been asked to work out the power. We've been asked to work out here the value of x. So remember to work out this value. Well, remember if we write this in index form, we've got 2 to the power of 4 will be equal to x. So 2 to the power of 4 is equal to x because we know this is the base and we know this is the power, if we do 2 to the power of 4, it'll give us this number. And 2 to the power of 4, well, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16, so we have 16 is equal to x. So this number is 16. So let's write that out. Log to base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. And let's just check that. 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. So the missing value here of x would be 16. OK, let's have a look at our next question. OK, this time we've been asked to work out the value of a, and we've got log to base a of 125 is equal to 3. So in other words, this is our base, this is our power, and this is our answer. So a 
cubed is equal to 125. A cubed is equal to 125. So what number do we cube to get 125? I know that's five straight away because five cubed is 125. Or we could do the cube root of 125 and that's equal to five. So A would be equal to five. So our base A is equal to five. So log to base five of 125 would be equal to three. So A is equal to five and that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So next question says, work out the value of x. And we've got log to base 3 of x is equal to 4. So in other words, we've got the base, we've got the power, and we need to work out here, the x, the answer. So here we've got 3 to the power 4 will be equal to x. Because obviously the base of this power is equal to this value here. So 3 to the power 4, that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 would be 27, times 3 would be equal to 81. So 3 to the power 4 is 81. So we've got the x is equal to 81. So let's just write that out. Log to base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. And let's just check that. 3 to the power 4 is 81. And that's it. So work out the value of x. The value of x would be equal to 81. And that's it. Okay, so our next question says work out the value of a. So this time we need to work out the value of a here. So we've got log to base a of an 8 is equal to negative 1. So here we've got this value, the a, the base, to the power of negative 1 is equal to an 8. So let's just think about it a second before we write it out. This number to the power of negative 1. Remember to the power of negative 1 means put 1 over. So that means that this value here must be 8 because 8 to the power of negative 1, well you'd put 1 over 8 or an 8. So that's it because let's write that out. So a to the power of negative 1, a to the power of negative 1 is equal to an 8. Well, what number to the power of negative 1 is equal to an 8? Well, that would be 8, because 8 to the power of negative 1 is equal to an 8. We do 1 over. So the value of a here would be a is equal to 8, and that's it. So the log to base 8, so log to base 8 of an 8 is equal to negative 1. What power do we raise 8 by to get an answer of an 8? The answer is negative 1. So the question says work out the value of a here. The answer is 8, and that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question. Okay, so our next question says work out the value of x. So this time we've got log to base 3 of x is equal to negative 2. So we've got our base, we've got our power, and here the x is our answer when we work that out. So let's write that down. 3 to the power of negative 2 is equal to x. So 3 to the power of negative 2 is equal to x. So we need to work out 3 to the power of negative 2 here. Well, remember, we do 1 over the positive power, so that'll be 1 over 3 squared, just getting rid of the negative power and putting 1 over. So 1 over 3 squared would be equal to x, and 3 squared is equal to 9, so that's 1 over 9 or a ninth. So x is equal to a ninth. So the question says work out the value of x. Well, the value of x is a ninth, and let's just check it. Log to base 3 of a ninth is equal to negative 2. Well, what power do we raise 3 by to get a ninth? Well, that would be negative 2 because we'd want to do 1 over 3 squared. And then that would give us our 1 ninth. So that's it. So x is 1 ninth. Okay, let's have a look at one more question. So this time we've been asked to work out the value of x here. So we want to work out the value of x. And we've got log to be a 16 of x is equal to 3 over 2. So here we've got our base. This is our power, and this is the answer. So if we do 16 to the power of 3 over 2, that's equal to x. So 16 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to x. So if we work out 16 to the power of 3 halves, that's equal to x. So if you think back to your fractional indices, we would do the root of the denominator. So we're going to work out the square root of 16. We'll get that answer, and then we'll cube it. So the square root of 16 is equal to 4. And then if we do 4 cubed, 4 cubed, well, 4 times 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So that means that 16 to the power of 3 halves is 64. So that means that 64 is equal to x, so x is equal to 64. And let's just write that out. So that's our answer. Work out the value of x, 64. And let's just write that out. Log to be a 16 of 64 is equal to 3 halves. So in other words, what power do we need to raise 16 by to get 64? Well, that would be 3 over 2 because we would square root it to get 4 and then cube that to get that's equal to 64. So that's it. So that means that we've worked out the value of x.
And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at logarithms in a bit more detail. We've looked at how to work out missing bases. So if we have log to a missing base of a certain number, and then we know what it's equal to, how to work out that base, because obviously the base to this power will be equal to this number. So then we could work it out. Also, we've looked at how to work out this missing value here. So we would just work out in this case, five cubed, and then that would be equal to that missing number there, because you have the base and the power, you can just work it out. And that's it. So we've looked at so far an introduction to logarithms. We've looked at how to type logarithms into your calculator and also logarithms in a little bit more detail. Now we're going to look at our laws of logarithms. So that's going to be our next video. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.